good morning, guys. We have a fun project. The boat that uh, we have purchased uh, has some fiberglass tables in the cockpit area. And if you know us, uh, we're way more into um, wood and classic look. And so what we're gonna build is a, a new tabletop for that area of our boat to give it kind of a bit of a classic feel back there. And so join me today as we uh, cut up some mahogany and uh, create a cool looking table uh, for our new boat. We're gonna create this out of this single uh, straight grained uh, Honduran mahogany plank. And I have some contrasting uh, basswood. Uh, we don't have holly available around these areas. So um, what I've got is uh, mahogany with a, a light basswood contrast. Should make a sweet looking table. Step one is gonna be to cut this base, which I'm making out of half inch plywood. Uh, we're gonna cut it to dimension. So this is gonna be about a foot and a half wide by three feet long. And that is the current dimension of the uh, two tables uh, put together that are there in the cockpit. Uh, it'll have the uh, bases uh, unscrewed from the current uh, fiberglass tables, uh, will be screwed into this, and that'll allow this table to mount onto the existing uh, pillars that um, sit in the boat now. Next up is to uh, cut the slats uh, that are gonna fit here. Uh, and so we'll do that out of that big mahogany plank. Since this is rough sawn, uh, I want to clean up one edge on the jointer uh, before we start cutting slats out of it. So let's do that. Right after we plug it in. These are going to end up as two and a half inch wide strips. And so now we're going to set the fence and just rip uh, a little over two and a half and then we'll clean them up so that they're exactly two and a half inches wide. With the mahogany cut, now we're gonna cut the quarter inch filler decorative strips out of this basswood. Now it's time to glue this up.
Time to remove the clamps. So we decided to fancy this up just a little bit. A lot of yacht tables have a compass rose in the center of them. Uh, that's a little too fancy and expensive for what we're going for here. But we do have some interesting woods in the shop. And so what we decided to do is kind of do a, a pseudo compass rose, at least just uh, a few um, plugs uh, that are of kind of unique woods and colors. So um, for the, um, you know, east, west, south will be maple. Uh, we've got an ebony and then a purple heart. So uh, let me show you how we cut these plugs, drill these holes, and uh, do that inlay. Here we're using a uh, plug cutting bit in the uh, drill press, and this is what the result is. Uh, but I'll show you how that's done. So simple as that, it cuts uh, a 3 8 inch plug, uh, that's the size that we've got here. Uh, and then we just use a small screwdriver and pop those out. So there it is. And there is your plug. So we'll go back over to the table, uh, drill a 3 8 hole uh, that'll accept this plug. So a little bit of glue. We're lining the grain up north-south rather than uh, with the grain. Yep. It taps till the bottom's out. Clear this glue. And then we've got our very sharp chisel with the grain of the plug and a couple taps just to shear it right off. And there it is. And that last little bit we'll take care of with the uh, a belt sander as we sand the entire tabletop as we've got some uh, ridges and things from how we glued it up. We have this rough sanded and uh, everything is looking good. The next step is going to be to edge the um, uh, do some edge banding around the edge of the table. We're gluing up the uh, frame now. So again, 3 8 inch mahogany, and uh, I just uh, ripped it to whatever width kind of looked like it would be a good thickness for uh, a table, and uh, that'll give us a nice edge on that uh, plywood, mahogany, and uh, uh, basswood sandwich. So i uh, let this glue dry up. Uh, we got some glue cleanup to do on the other side, uh, some final sanding, and then we'll move on from there. Looking good. So uh, attached all four sides. Uh, I didn't do a miter here. I just, it's just not enough meat to really make it happen. So a uh, quick butt joint. Otherwise I would have mitered it and maybe put in some uh, keys this way uh, for decoration strength. But uh, I think this will work. Uh, so next up, time for some sanding. So I got some final hand sanding done up to 220 grit. Uh, I decided to do a, a quarter inch round over on all of these edges. It's a boat. We don't want people banging around and bonking their head on it, sharp corners and such. I think it really adds to kind of the smoothness of it. Uh, so we're up to 220. Now it's time to do some cleaning on it and uh, uh, I'm test out this epoxy product. I just wiped this down with a little bit of paint thinner just to get uh, rid of some of the dust and boy does that look awesome. I don't know if you can kind of see that grain, uh, those inlays we did, everything is looking awesome. So we're going to let this paint thinner dry uh, and then we'll uh, get onto the uh, hard clear epoxy. First coat is just to fill in some grain. Uh, it's not going to look uniform. We might get some dust and things so uh, the shop is not particularly clean for this. Uh, but we want to pour this up. Uh, I'll put a link below to what this stuff is. Uh, I've already got the uh, hardener part in. Now it's time to put the resin in. It's a two to one ratio, and I'm doing it by weight on the scale here into this plastic tub. Then you stir for five minutes, wait for five minutes, 
and then uh, you're ready to put it on. Uh, we'll use a heat gun to pop any of the bubbles that come up. Uh, so let's take a look at that process. He's almost ready. Two tools to spread this out. An old credit card and a foam brush. So I'm going to give it a wipe down with a tack cloth to remove any dust that's on the top here. I'll pour the epoxy on, start spreading it out, and then uh, remove the bubbles. Epoxy's on here. It's laying down a little bit, uh, but it'll continue to planarize and kind of smooth out. Uh, but what we do have are small bubbles and places where it's soaking into the pores of the wood. And uh, we want those bubbles to pop and come to the surface, and we do that with heat. So I'm going to hit this with a heat gun. first coat of epoxy has dried. Uh, as you can maybe tell from this, there's some imperfections in the finish. Uh, little dust spots, bubbles, and whatnot. Some uh, lumps. And so we're going to sand it with 320 grit uh, just to take that, scuff the surface for good adhesion and to take out any of those imperfections. We're going to pour another coat of epoxy on here. It's been just over 24 hours and this is uh, rock solid. Time to wipe this down with some solvent, uh, hit it with a tack cloth, and then put on another coat. Okay, so I got that spread. Uh, I'm gonna let it start to lay down a little bit and then come pop the bubbles with a torch. And there we go, second coat, done. After a long journey, uh, we are at the boat and the mahogany table has arrived by mail as well. So we're gonna replace these fiberglass tables with that awesome uh, mahogany and basswood uh, yacht table. So let's do a time lapse and uh, show you how it's done. Boy, this sure uh, cleans up this uh, cockpit area. I think we're going to get uh, a lot of joy out of having this uh, wood accent back here. Time to enjoy with the brewski. Cheers.